Hey, what's going on guys? Dino Gomez here from Dynamic 365 and in this week's episode I take you on an inflatable raft in Mexico wearing a ridiculous inflatable life vest and I show you guys exactly how you can use SEMrush to do a lot of cool things both on the affiliate side and on the client SEO side. It's all coming up in this week's episode of Dynamic 365. All right, guys, so we're over here at my computer and we are jumping into SEMrush. We're going to show you guys how to do some keyword research, how to uncover some niches, how to find link building opportunities, how to spot affiliate sites. We're going to get into a bunch of crazy stuff today. Uh, so let's begin. All right, so the first example we're going to look at is uh, let's just say we're trying to figure out a great affiliate SEO niche. Uh, let's take a look at maybe we're just bouncing around typing things into Google and we type in our favorite hobby and thing to do and that would be tanning so I'm gonna type in tanning lotion and let's take a look at search results and see what we can kind of uncover here basically how you would approach analyzing your competition uh, in an affiliate niche from the very get-go so we're looking at search results and we see two big players at, at the top um, right here though you know this is very easy to spot in search results as an affiliate site you can just kind of tell because it says reviews and ratings. Anytime a site is naturally saying reviews and ratings, there's a great chance it's an affiliate site. We see another affiliate site down here, uh, reviews and ratings, especially if you see reviews and ratings in the title tag of the home page. So in other words, this is obviously just the, the home page. It's not an interior page. So this entire site's about reviews and ratings of uh, tanning lotion. So it's most definitely probably gonna be an affiliate site. So let's go ahead, let's click into it real quick. Uh, let's take a look. We can verify a couple ways to verify on site. Of course, are actually taking a look at the links you click. You're going to see that they have the affiliate string at the end of them as they take you over to Amazon or, or some other uh, uh, offer. This is a very common uh, WordPress plugin for uh, uh, Amazon affiliate sites and so forth. So, so, yeah, we see they have a great looking site. We're getting an idea of, of what kind of content, how much content they have, what's going on in their site. Uh, let's uncover what keywords they're going after, uh, which ones they're actually ranking for, which ones are driving traffic, and let's take a look at their link profile. So uh, go ahead, you copy their domain name, and we're going to head over to SEMrush, and this is why I absolutely love SEMrush. Uh, you go ahead, you type in their domain name up here, you push search, and SEMrush is going to tell you a whole ridiculous amount of information about this site. All right, so we can see where they're getting their traffic from. Uh, what their estimated traffic is, 23,000 searches a month just in the tanning lotion niche. That's wild uh, how many backlinks they have. What's kind of cool over here on the right too is we can see how long it took them to get this traffic, okay, when they started and what their growth was like. So, you know, here in November they only had 713 visitors and then they jumped the next month to 1,500 and then they skyrocketed in January to over 7,000. So that's probably when a couple of their keywords hit. So right here, you kind of have an idea, three months, and you could be uh, raking in 7, 000, uh, over 7,000 organic visitors to your site. Um, now, as you scroll down, you get to take a look at which keywords they are ranking for organically. Uh, over 3,900 organic keywords are ranking for this little niche site. Pretty awesome stuff. If you click on full report here, you're gonna get a list of every single organic keyword they're ranking for, an estimate of how much traffic it's driving and the keyword search volume, what URL is ranking on their site for it. Uh, so on the left, we're seeing uh, the keywords they're ranking for, their position in Google, how much volume it gets per month, uh, the cost per click, and then what URL it's ranking for on their homepage and how much traffic that makes up total for them. So the keyword best tanning lotion and indoor tanning lotion uh, is driving about 23% of their total traffic. Uh, that's that's good to know. Those are their their money keywords, and this list goes on for 3,900 organic keywords. All right. Now, if we're studying a big site like this, we might want to pick out. And this isn't even necessarily a big site, but you can get uh, affiliate niche uh, ideas by type putting it in a big magazine site. And you can come over here in SEMrush to advanced filters. This is a really cool feature. And you can say, let's include keywords that have a number of words equal to, or actually we're gonna say greater than three. 
and we're going to push apply. So what we're looking to do here is filter their keywords that are ranking for them that are long tails that basically are using more than three words. So as we scroll down here, now all these keywords are going to have four or more words to them. We can see their ranking and then again we can see how much search volume. If we can go ahead, we can filter this actual list here by search volume. So now we have all the keywords that are four words or more based on search volume. So now we're uncovering a bunch of niche long tail keywords that we could actually build it, you know, a mini niche affiliate site for if, if you're starting out, uh, start you can start super, super niche. It could be a niche within just the tanning uh, industry, for example, and you could go after these, these super long tails. They still have great search volume. Um, okay, so let's just say you have this entire list of the keywords they're ranking for. You can take this from here in the top right, it says export. You can export this entire list and filter it however you want in an Excel sheet. Uh, but you can keep track of the keywords that they're ranking for that are long tails with all this great information like search volume. Uh, so immediately, just plugging in one affiliate site, we're getting all these keyword ideas uh, right away. Uh, now what is also great about SEMrush here on the right hand side is we can see a trend per keyword. So we know if this is a industry that has some seasonality to it, that's very important to keep in mind. Uh, if the keyword is trending up, if it's new, that all that information, you guys can uh, understand how that would be useful. Uh, but let's go take a look at their backlinks, all right? Because that's that's kind of what we want to know is where are these guys getting their links from? How strong are they? Can we get the same links? Uh, and remember, a lot of links are hidden by PBN, so you have to keep that in mind as well. But what we're looking for are visible links that we can also go ahead and grab. So they have 305 uh, index links according to SEMrush here. Uh, the first thing we want to do or that I like to do is just click on referring domains. Uh, so we're going to get a list of all the domains that are linking to them. Now what's cool about looking at just the root domain is you can kind of immediately get an idea of how these guys are ranking. I mean almost all affiliate sites uh, on some level are using PBNs but we get to know whether their PBNs are visible. If they are we can check out the strength of them, the anchor text that they're using, get some great information. So as we scroll down this list of root domains, we're looking for domains that don't make any sense at all because that tends to be what type of domains uh, PBNs are built from. So if we're in this niche of, of tanning lotion, I mean, which domains here don't make a ton of sense? Sunbathing 101, that's probably a legitimate site or a directory site. All right, so if, if you see a, a one a domain that does make sense uh, for your industry, you can click on this button. It's going to open that up. And then boom, we can verify here that this basically is a directory site that we could probably go ahead and submit our uh, affiliate site to this as well to gain a similar uh, backlink. So that's that's great to know. And what, what this you can do with this is you can pass this over to a VA and have them go through this entire list of domains and find the links that are actually, uh, that you can actually acquire yourself that aren't PBNs that have uh, something on their site that says submit link or other information to uh, pay a couple dollars to a directory for that same link. You can have your VA do all that. That's something that they should handle. But as we go here, through here, we're, you know, we're looking for something that doesn't make sense to see if they're using uh, PBNs. So one of the ways we can quickly do that is PBNs tend to be a little bit stronger. So up here by trust score, let's go ahead and filter their, uh, all their domains and, and take a look at uh, which ones are the strongest. This one, I can't even pronounce that word, you know, Rohitab or something like that. I'm going to say it in an accent because I feel like that's the way you should say that word. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up here and take a look. This looks like a forum of sorts. It's in a couple different languages. There's a good chance you can create a profile and grab a backlink from this one. Okay, that's good to know. Health extremists, prime juicers. Those seem a little bit relevant. This is a directory. You can see it says dir at the end. That's normally a sign of a directory link. It seems to be fairly strong. So that's probably one you can get for free or very cheap. This again, I can't even pronounce it, but I'll pronounce it for you guys. I'll try to pronounce it for you guys in some type of accent. Shalish Sharma. All right, Shalish Shali Sharma, let's open this up. Let's take a look. What is going on with this domain? Uh, a travel guide to India. Very interesting. Um, haunted places to visit. Okay, it's, it's hard to say right off the bat if this is a legit site or not, or if this is a PBN. Maybe we would circle back around to that or if spend more time another time. 
Uh, Boyko.net, that doesn't make a ton of sense to me either. Let's take a look at that. Uh, this looks like it could very well be, yeah, this is probably most definitely a PBN site, guys. Um, so let's see, all the links are and posts are on the home page. There's not much content to it. There's not much work done to it. It's on WordPress. Seems to be a, a lot. A lot of PBNs are built out on WordPress. Okay, so this is most definitely probably a PBN. All right, so that's good to know. Um, these guys are using PBNs, so we can keep track of what anchor text they're using. Uh, and then we also know that PBNs are ranking for this niche. When you take a look at uh, your competitors' PBNs, you can figure out if they are niche specific, if they're general. Um, all stuff to kind of keep in mind. This just the more information you have, the better. So, all right, these guys are using PBNs, but as we can see by some of these domains, they're also either doing some white hat link building or they're doing some directory link building. Uh, we're gonna get into in the very next video the order in which you're gonna wanna build links because uh, what we're seeing here is a mixture of, of probably white hat directories and, and PBNs. Uh, but this is basically how you get a, a map of what your competitors are doing, what the industry is rewarding, uh, what you would need to do uh, to also uh, rank uh, similarly to uh, your competition uh, on the first page. So again, grab all the very easy, have your VA grab all the very easy links um, to build as well, the free directories, uh, the free blogs, the free, any of that type of stuff. Uh, grab all that, do that as well. I always like the, any links you can match from a competing site that's ranking, that's, that's great, that's ideal. Uh, there's less chance of you getting picked out um, in an algorithm update that your site looks suspicious if you have the same links uh, as the other uh, websites that are ranking in your industry. Um, all right, so that's another cool feature of SEMrush is taking a look at the link profile of your competitors. The other thing you can do is you can click on anchors and you can get an idea of the anchor text ratio, how aggressive they are, what keywords they're using, uh, which uh, all that is good to know. Uh, there's no exact percentages to you know to rank per niche against a lot of these PBN links may actually be hidden This gives you a, a good idea um, of what you should and shouldn't do. It also gives you a, a good idea of, of finding um, uh, LSI keyword anchor text to use or keyword anchor text. That's not uh, the, your keyword, but it's related uh, to appease Google in that regard so last thing over here on backlinks you can click on backlinks because when you actually want to go to build these or to match some of the links that they're building, you wanna find out exactly where it's coming from on that site, because there might be a submit URL uh, page on, on the directory site. You wanna just be able to have your VAs go straight there. Uh, so click on backlinks. Again, you can sort by uh, trust and page score, and then you can click on the blue thing here, and it'll open up, and you can go grab that uh, same link as well. All right, so that's if you're taking a look at affiliate sites. A uh, great way to kind of un uncover keywords uh, you know, which keywords are ranking, which ones are driving traffic, long tails, their anchor text ratios, their backlink profile. Uh, another great thing about SEMrush is over here on the left, you can click on projects and you can run basically an on-site audit uh, of your website, um, a potential client's website, uh, uh, otherwise your competitor's sites, but normally a site that you're working on to figure out what broken or missed on-site opportunities you have. I'm gonna save some time and not show you guys that. It's pretty basic, it's automated. You click on projects on the left, they're gonna give you a great detailed on-site audit for you so you know what to take care of uh, when you're getting started on a new site. And that's normally if you're getting started on a client site uh, that's not brand new and probably has some mistakes to it. Now what we're gonna do from here real quick is I wanna jump over, because we just were talking about some affiliate examples here. Let's jump over real quick and take a look at what you would do if this was a client example, okay? So the example we're gonna use here is Portland Dentist, nothing uh, too exciting except Portland's an awesome city, that's, that's about it. I really didn't wanna visit there, that's what I've heard. Uh, but let's just see if we, if we type in Portland Dentist uh, let's take a look at a strategy here of, of what links you would want to build for a local client, okay? So what we're looking here, looking at here are the sites ranking in um, the maps as well as organic, and we're looking for matches. We're looking for a company that's ranking both in maps and both in organic. They're getting rewarded uh, in both spots for what they're up to. All right, so Pearl District Dental, they're second in maps, they're first in or, uh, organic. 
uh, Laurelhurst Dentistry uh, in Maps, also here in Organic. Very interesting that they're here in Organic because there's no keyword title optimization. Uh, so it'd be interesting to check out what, what they're up to. But we'll take a look first at Pearl District uh, uh, Dental. And one of the things you'll notice, really interesting, notice how Google bolded dental in their domain name there. You see that? Dental is bolded because it's relevant. Dentist and Portland, all the keywords that Google thinks are relevant are, are in bold font. Um, you should keep that in mind because Google is basically telling you which keywords and versions of your keyword they think are relevant by bolding that text. So another great idea, uh, tip from Google of, of exactly how they're connecting dots between different versions of keywords. Look out for that bold text. Okay, so we're into their website here. Um, again, you're just going to want to grab their domain name. Uh, just the domain name, not the www. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll throw these guys into uh, SEMrush. We're not going to take a look at their keywords right now because local doesn't have the most exciting uncovery of keywords. It's going to be pretty basic. They're driving, I can tell you guys, taking a look at these guys already, they're driving about a thousand visitors per month through organic. But what we do want to look at is their backlink profile. So again, let's start at referring domains. Uh, let's figure out, are these guys using PBNs? Uh, where are these guys building links from? What types of links are they? Uh, we can filter by trust score. But one of the things I like to always do for local is find local link building op opportunities. Uh, I have some insight in a theory that those are extremely, extremely strong. And again, I always like to build links that uh, my competition has on the first page. So if there is an algorithm update, uh, I'm not picked out as being the one outlier um, that would be very easy for me to be targeted. But um, I'm looking for relevant sites. So I'm looking for any domains that have the word Portland in them or have the word dentist in them. I would open up all these sites into a browser or otherwise have my VA do that and see if they are directory sites, what if they're listing sites, if I can, uh, um, if we can if we can pay for a link somehow, whether it's uh, um, guest post, oh, I can't think right now, whether it's a guest post or whether um, uh, you can just pay for a guest blog post, whatever it is, I'm looking for uh, dental related domains as well as Portland related domains. Here's one right now, right here, allportlandjobs.com. Now when it comes to building these local specific links, I'm not as concerned about trust flow, citation flow, all that stuff because we are talking about a, a very localized site here. Uh, I'm m mostly opening it up, taking a look, see you know if it's maintained, how legitimate it is, how easy it is to get a link. The other thing I would do is I would cross-reference this domain between two or three of the other sites on page one. If they all had a link from allportlandjobs.com, that would be a, a massive, or I should say a double thumbs up um, as in a link I would also want to grab because Google's not going to sweep through and, and take down the top four sites. Uh, that would be peculiar. Um, so that's a great way to protect yourself, get those same links that several sites have, uh, and then you would move on to your PBN link building. But that's one of the ways uh, I like to do um, local. Again, um, a lot of times citations, the, the top 50 normal citations, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Manta, City Search, all those ones, they don't necessarily, you don't think they index. A lot of the times they do, and here's how you know if they do. These guys are called Portland uh, Pearl District Dental. So we can just come in over to Google. You don't even have, you can put their name in quotes, but uh, you can just type them right into Google and you can come down here and you can actually see that here they are in Angie's List, Facebook, Yelp, uh, health grades. This is another easy way to uncover links that are indexing MapQuest, City Search, Business Finder, uh, so that white pages, super pages. They are, they do have the directories covered. So it's, it's not that they don't index for whatever reason. Sometimes they just don't show up in um, link crawlers. Um, another great way just to make sure that, you know, what they're doing, uncover some, some link building opportunities out there. But Again, for local, very important you do your citations. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the local, local citations. I'm a double local. Um, that's how much of a fan I am. So uh, that's just one of the ways I do uh, link research uh, local. And so I would go ahead, take care of citations, take care of on-site. 
um, do a press release, and then I would move on to PBN link building if necessary. Again, if we come back and we take a look at search results here for Portland Dentist, uh, we can take a look at these guys, Laurel Hurst Dentistry. Again, no title tag optimization for the keyword. Uh, they do have dentistry in their domain name. That's something to keep in mind. If, if they have some type of related keyword in the domain name uh, and your target URL does not, uh, you can be a little bit more aggressive with your anchor text optimization and vice versa. But we would take these guys, if we throw them in the SEMrush, I've already done this. These guys have, as far as what SEMrush is indexing, these guys have like three links. Um, so that's kind of interesting. That would probably tell us that they're, they're doing a fair amount of uh, PBN link building. Uh, it's good to know where they're getting their their two major links from, um, but that's interesting to note. Um, so there you guys, there you guys have it. SEMrush is one of my favorite SEO tools out there because you can cover uncover long tails real quickly. You can uh, scout your competition very easily. Uh, it saves massively on keyword research because if you go find a great site that's ranking, a niche affiliate site that's ranking, you plug them in, you can take a look at their long tails and spin them off in a lot of different directions. A uh, very easy way to find sub niches of niches and, uh, and otherwise you can take a look at backlink profile. Again, don't neglect their on-site SEO uh, audit report. That thing is, uh, is pretty killer. Uh, so I hope this guy's help helps you guys out. Uh, when you're auditing a potential client for the first time, I really love to use uh, that audit tool to see what's broken for them on site. And that's a great uh, audit report to rebrand and send over to the client, let them know the different issues they have going on. It's also a great way because they give you an estimate of organic traffic to uh, basically compare different sites and to show potential clients what traffic they are potentially missing in their industry that their competitors have. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, tools and strategies on how you can use SEMrush. This video has been over 21 minutes long. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing my voice. What I'm gonna do in the next video is I'm actually gonna show you, we're gonna jump into more the strategy of link building, the anchor text, the speed, uh, how that's all done. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And otherwise we will talk to all of you guys maybe pretty soon, probably pretty soon. We'll see you guys in the next video. We got weird mannequin dolls like this kind of hanging out, uh, you know, that, are, that just kind of stare you down while, while we're trying to shoot here on camera. And, uh, you know, you got to be, I'll tell you one thing, when you're in the studio recording, you got you got to be locked in because there's just, just a lot going on. Uh, so yeah, let me get rid of some distractions. Okay. Uh, yeah, but what we want to, let's get to it. What we want.